Man, I just spent legit like five filming minutes posing in this look because I love it. I love the sweater. I love the fall. I love this lipstick. I love this look. <sighs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica and today I'm doing a bit of a belated favorites video. If you've been following my channel for a bit, you know that I tend to do these favorites videos every two months. So I have I think like a January, February, March, April, and I really wanted to do it spread out and just not every month because for a product to be in a favorites video, it has to be something that I've tried out for at least a month minimum. It has to be something that I've been loving and it has to be a product that I've tested enough to know that it's bulletproof and that my full recommendation is behind it. You're not going to see any first impressions here. You're not going to see anything that I've only used once or twice. These are tried and true products and that's why I like to do them every two months and just kind of squish them together. I missed the last video. I think I was supposed to do like July and August but this is going to be combined July, August, September because I don't know where the last month went. Work was crazy, filming was crazy. I got videos up, but I think this just kind of just, poof, it flew out of my mind. So we're gonna do favorites for those last three months. We're currently at the end of September, so I'm just kind of rolling it in there. And then the next video will be, I don't know, I'll probably do the three months for the last one too because we only have October, November, December. Isn't that crazy? Like. I feel like we were all freaking out that 2018 had just started and now we're we're so close to like New Year's. That's oh. all. Okay, so before we jump into the video, please don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like these kinds of favorites videos. And if you haven't already and you like to, I hope you consider subscribing and hitting the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video every Monday through Friday. So I'm filming early in the morning right now and I just heard like my neighbors start mowing their lawn. <laughs> Don't know why, it's like 7, 7.30 in the morning. So if you can hear that, I'm really sorry. This is kind of the only time of day that I can film before I head to work. Okay, so I don't have just makeup favorites in here. I do have some tool favorites. So I'm actually going to start with those. The first tool favorite that I've had for the past few months has been a brush from Sigma. This is the Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki Brush. It's dirty because I used it today. <laughs> I really like this brush and for the most part I don't like using brushes for foundation but recently I've really gotten back into using a brush to initially apply my foundation because I feel like you get for the most part depending on the foundation you get better coverage when you use a brush and what I've been liking doing is using a brush to apply my foundation first and then smoothing it out with a sponge. This works really well with one of my favorite foundations. I'm currently panning it. It's the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. It's the best way to apply it. I used to just apply it with a sponge but if I use the brush and then smooth it out, I look airbrushed. I did that today. I love it. And it's really gotten me to try using this brush with other foundations and I found the same thing. I really like using the brush and I can always smooth it out with a sponge later. Like just because you use a brush to start doesn't mean you have to stay that way because I can sometimes get brush marks depending on the foundation. But I've been really liking this brush. I've had this particular brush, I want to say almost two years because I did buy a big Sigma brush set a couple years ago when I got like a, a nice tax return. <laughs> That's one of the first things that I got, um, but Sigma brushes are fantastic. This isn't sponsored or anything, but I just really think Sigma brushes are like some of the best out there for your quality. I've tried Morphe brushes, I've tried MAC brushes, I've tried brushes from NARS and from Marc Jacobs. Sigma. <laughs> Go with the Sigma. So speaking of smoothing out with a sponge, I found a sponge that I love more than any other sponge that I've tried more than the Beauty Blender, mm. more than the Eco Tools sponge, more than the uh, Real Technique sponge. This is the black sponge from uh, Shop Miss A, the AOA Studio brand. It's dirty because of course I used it today. It's, I got the pink sponge too, but I felt like it was a little bit too squishy. This one is, perfect. I'm going to link and show like a picture of the um, 
actual listing on the website here just so you know exactly which one that I'm talking about. But this is the best sponge and it's a dollar. It's a dollar. As I'm filming this, I've already placed an order for five more of these just to have them on backup because I, I can get rid of my entire sponge collection right now because I'd like to have enough sponges to use them for a week or a week and a half without using them too often so I can kind of wash them all at once and then keep going. I could get rid of all of them and just use this one. That's how much I like this sponge. It's the perfect size. It's a little bit bigger than a beauty blender, but I feel like the bigger size actually works to your advantage because the top is so tapered that it still can get right in here really nicely. It's still tapered enough that I could actually use this to put my eye primer on too. And I've actually really liked doing that as well. But then you get like the butt of the sponge is really nice for just smoothing out foundation and putting on powder. I love the sponge. And it's the best deal that you're gonna find for a sponge. Please try it if you have not already. Huh, I love this sponge. What is it with the lawn mowers today? It's early, it's raining. Why are you mowing your lawn? Okay, the next favor is just a concealer that I find myself going back to over and over for the past couple of months. I've had this for a long time, but this is the Kylie Concealer. This is specifically the shade Bone. This is the closest shade match. Mitch, what the hell was that accent? This is the best shade that's been working for me recently. I do have two other shades. I think they're both lighter, so those will probably work better for me like in the dead of winter. Right now, this is the best shade match for me. This is one of my favorite concealers. It is full coverage. It doesn't feel thick. It's just... It just applies like a dream and it doesn't crease that badly. It really doesn't. And I've tried this out with a bunch of different powders, a bunch of different loose powders, setting powders, pressed powders. This is bulletproof. I love it. I really think it's worth the price. I, I owned three of them. We'll put it there. I love this concealer. And I have drawer, not drawers, I have a lot of concealers and out of all those concealers this is the one that I've been like picking out the most to use I think like the past two weeks I've just used this concealer the next favorite I have was a bit of a surprise for me because I haven't really found a blush from this brand that I've liked this much and I wasn't expecting it to be this one this is from Benefit. This is a little sample, not a little sample, but a 1.6 gram sample of the Gold Rush Blush from Benefit. So as you can see, it's like a peachy pink blush, but it did have some shimmer in it. I think most of the shimmer was like a spray on overlay, but there is still some glow to this blush. I've been using this blush almost every day for the past month and I've loved it. I really first did not find myself going for glowy brush brushes. I at first did not find myself going for glowy blushes and I've tried a couple of them uh, with mixed results, but this one is just gorgeous. It just glides on. It doesn't look shimmery on your face. I will say that. It just looks bright and fresh and uh, it just, it looks like you, um. Like you went for like a little jog and then you've got like a little flush, but not too much to where you look kind of gross. <laughs> it just, it looks beautiful and I wasn't expecting it from this blush. I'm really liking it. This is um a little mini, not little, 1.6 grams is a lot of product. You'll find that in like most face powders. But I've been using this for a few weeks now, over a month, but not two months yet. And I've just been loving it. This is actually the first full-size blush that I've considered buying from Benefit because I love it so much. But I'm going to force myself to go through this mini before I get that because I still have a good amount of product left in here. Though I have worn down like the indent of the name on the actual product itself. Next, I have a mascara favorite. This is from Urban Decay. This is the Perversion Mascara. As of right now, I've been using this for a month. I love this mascara. The brush is absolutely perfect. It's, as you can see, the brush is nice and like fluffy. It's the perfect size for my eyes and it really has all the um, bristles that are perfect for grabbing each lash, actually each lash, and fanning them out. 
I'm not someone that struggles with hair. I have a lot of hair and that includes lashes. I have a lot of lashes and it's hard to find a mascara that will separate them all out without clumping. This does that. I'm wearing this mascara today and I've been wearing it every day for the past two to three weeks and I've had this for over a month. This is one of the best higher-end mascaras that I've found. And I really don't like to recommend higher-end mascaras because I know you can find good ones at the drugstore. But I love it. I really do enjoy this mascara. It doesn't flake off on me. It's... <sighs> the formula actually spreads all of my lashes out, coats them. I get length out of this mascara. It doesn't look crazy like I don't look like I'm wearing falsies with this mascara like the essence one but it just coats every lash and it gives me such a beautiful natural effect this is such a great mascara I'm gonna be really sad once the three month mark hits because I don't like to spend too much money on mascara I actually got this as like a, a rewards point from Sephora so I didn't actually buy it but it's so good Okay, so my next two favorites are actually inside of my kind of dirty face Z palette. So we're just going to go with it. The two favorites I'm going to talk about in here are the Sexy Mama Face Powder from Benefit right over here. And then my Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula, which is right here. As you can see, I've hit so much pan in both of these products. So this is the face powder right here that I absolutely love. This is my Holy Grail face powder. And this is the butter bronzer right here. It has so much pan. I've actually really considered repressing it just because it's a little bit harder to get the product evenly on my brush with it being just all around the edge like that. These are some of my Holy Grail products, but they're in this favorites video because I haven't really been reaching for them over this court, like over the course of this past year. I've been testing out a lot of products but over the last couple of months I've really just gotten back into the habit of reaching for them and I'm never disappointed by them they're great products the butter bronzer is the perfect shade for me it looks really natural it doesn't take too much to blend out it's gorgeous the sexy mama face powder is the best face powder ever I know benefit is absolute garbage at shade range and this is supposed to be a translucent powder it's not really translucent so I know their shade range is garbage but I have not found a, f a face powder that does for me what this powder does, despite all the face powders that I've tried. I have two of these on backup. That's how much I love this face powder. It is a bit bulky having a Z palette this big because I do have like all of my face powders that I've depotted on this side and then on this side I have some highlighters. But I love these products and despite the bulkiness of it, I just keep this on my vanity and I've been reaching for it and I've been loving them. My last favorite for the past couple of months, it's more of a technique than a product. And the technique is using, instead of using a liquid liner, using a black shadow as liner. And the black shadow that I've been loving the most is from the Lorac Pro palette, the original, and it's just the black right up here. This is the most pigmented black in my collection. I have plenty of matte black shadows. This is the most pigmented. I doubt I will ever hit pan on this shade as long as I live because you just need to go boop and you've got plenty. I like to take an angled liner brush and just stamp the black against my lash line and it looks gorgeous. And it's also very user friendly. It's a lot easier to just stamp a shadow onto your lash line than it is trying to draw a perfect line with a liner brush or with a like liquid liner pen or pencil. I found that by doing this my looks look just a lot softer and like smokier and just overall better. Not to say I still don't like liquid liner. I still love liquid liner. But just recently, I've been gravitating more towards that just soft, smoky look. Especially since it's just so much easier to do. Because, you know, some days, no matter how you try, your liner <laughs> can really mess you up. And if you mess up your, like, for me, if I mess up my liner, my day's ruined. Because I have to redo all my makeup, odds are I'm going to be late to work, and then it just spirals. So sometimes I just want to avoid that when I know that like, oh, this is not going to be a good liner day. My hands aren't the best. I haven't had enough coffee. Just stamp a black shadow on your lash line. It looks just as good, if not better. 
So those are all of my favorites for the past couple of months. Please let me know down below what you thought of these products and what your favorites have been for the past couple of months. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye.